What is going on guys? Drake here with WCCF Tech TV. Today we have some more news for you guys about AMD Vega. As we all probably know by now, Vega is the highly anticipated family of enthusiast grade graphics cards, which are just a few short months from release date now. AMD held a tech summit in China a few weeks back, and now we are finally starting to get out some more news about Vega. Let's get right into it. To begin, let's start with all the new information that recently came out about Vega. This first piece reveals that the company's add-in board partners will have the ability to configure the Vega GPUs with different memory configurations. This is due to HP and memory being able to stack on top of each other in different layers. The specific references that Scott Herkelman with AMD gave were examples of 4 and 8 gig memory capacities, however 16 gigabytes will also be a possible configuration. This is pretty cool which kind of automatically tells us that this that there might be some type of budget oriented Vega card that will probably have less VRAM but will be in a more affordable price package, but we'll definitely be waiting on that one for sure. Also, it was confirmed that there will be some type of mobile Vega GPU. There wasn't too many specifics given out, but we do know that Raven Ridge APUs, which I've done a few videos on, they will feature Vega based graphics and will be available on notebooks. It's also possible that the Vega 11 GPU will have a single stack of HPM2 memory that will be available in mobile GPU form as well. We'll continue to have details as more comes out as we move forward toward this launch. Speaking of the launch of these products, the Vega cards are said to be right around the corner as AMD is expected to launch them sometime between May 30th and June, which is around Computex time. Also, don't forget that the RX 500 series of cards will be rolling out sometime in April as well, so AMD's graphics department will be very busy over the next few months with all these new product releases, and we will be sure to keep you up to date and cover as much content possible, so be sure to stay tuned to WCCF Tech TV. That's going to wrap up this video guys, we just wanted to bring you guys the news that we currently had out about these new AMD Vega GPUs. Be sure to stay subscribed and be watching for updates as we will continue to give those to you as they become available. Thank you for watching WCCF Tech TV, signing off I'm Drake, peace out.